Hi everybody. Welcome back to part two of my Jer New Jersey Shore. Uh, seven years ago today with Sandy. It was happening around, around this time. It was kind of starting a little bit. We didn't really get into the brunt of it till around, I don't know, between four and six. But you couldn't be out here right now. I would not be walking here seven years ago today. The storm surge was absolutely crazy, outrageous. And the reason for that was because not, it actually was a, a category three. I shouldn't say only, but it was only a category three. A three is bad, but it hit us like a five because what happened was the moon, when it got dark, it was a full moon, high tide, and the storm surge and the warmth. It was abnormally warm. And all that combined caused that catastrophic storm. And luckily we didn't lose as many lives as we really thought we were going to, but we still lost, like I said, between 168 and 178 people. The main damage was the roads, the, the beaches were almost completely lost. I wouldn't be walking here. I mean, you gotta understand, where I was, the water would be over my head right now. Within a few hours from now, the water would, would have been over my head. Um, I wouldn't have been able to walk here. The bay, like I said in my first part of this, the bay and the ocean met, actually met, came across up this, they, they built this up here because by the time the storm hit, this was totally flat. So it just rolled right in, it rolled right in. It wasn't like going up any of this. This is why they did off the street, all these little flowers. Look at the little feet of the birds. Isn't that cute? Look at them all, they're so happy. Hi birdies. Go, 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 go. I love my animal friends. Hi babies. It's actually, see this? There's a rip right now. If you were swimming, see how that forms a pool? Right beyond that is a riptide. But nobody swims now. Maybe the surfers. I'm surprised the surfers are just, I guess, oh, that, that's the only thing. You weren't allowed really over here, but for some stupid reason, they allowed some of the surfers over to a certain point. And then, uh, and then that was it. Um, you know, maybe I'll go up. Should I go up this one? Yeah, I'll go up this one. I'm getting closer to the boardwalk. If you could see. It's a little hazy. I don't know if we're going to get a storm, but it's still really beautiful out. Really beautiful. You know what? I'll walk along a little more. I'm parked up here. But I'll walk along. Beautiful. You get to see the water with me. So just to recap, I know I'm repeating myself. Seven years ago today, Superstorm Sandy hit the Jersey Shore and the Tri-State area. Devastating pretty much the whole East Coast, but severely devastating the beach towns and beach areas to a destruction that in 53 years, I'll be 53 in December, 52 years of my life I have never seen. They did have it before I was born Jersey Shore had a serious one in the 1900s, and I think there was another one in 1950s. It was actually the 1950s one was worse than Sandy. You could always Google it and look it up. Look, the jellyfish. You gotta watch these. See the jellyfish? You can't touch that. You'll get stung. And it doesn't, it's not pretty. That's all I'm gonna say. It hurts. Been stung a few times. But I still love my beach. Love my beach. Look it. Got it all to myself today. All to myself. So, if any of you could just take a moment of your time and just, you know, pray to God for us and Thank God that it worked out for us. 
don't think I could go this way. It's roped off. Oh, it's private property. Yeah, I'll go one more. If not, I'll walk back. But it's, uh... <coughs> Somebody must have bought that. This was all Joey Harrison's at one point. It was Joey Harrison's surf club, it was called, and they owned this whole section of the beach. And it was a great dance club in the 70s and 80s and 90s. And it was fantastic. It was a big part of my growing up. I had one of my first alcoholic drinks there. I used to go to teen night there. You couldn't have alcohol, but you could dance just like the older kids in the clubs big time in the 80s and it was really destroyed by Sandy really bad and it uh you know they never they didn't decide to rebuild it so that is the pier but it really it's weird it's creepy because it looks like it's in the water like it was before There's actually, you can't see them. There's no way. But where my finger is, there's dolphins out there. There's actually been a lot of whales. A lot of humpback whale sightings. Like very close, like where those waves are. I go far out, as far out as that. I go far out like that. We, you know, we all do. And uh, I love when people say, oh, there was a shark. There was a whale. Yeah, well, they live in the water. That's where they live. That's where they live. You're going into their home. You respect their home. That's just the way I was taught living down here. You take your chances going in there. That's their home. You don't want to risk it, don't go in. Don't go in. But unbelievable what a difference seven years makes. The beach is actually pretty decent, but it, they made it really huge. Like where all these waves are right here, right here would be still more beach. This is really shrunk. If you could see from here and I'll pan over, this is all you got left of the beach right now. A little bit of a surge, a little bit of a surge here. So you go from here to only here. And when you have a peak season and you have everybody and their brother here, you're on top of each other like like clams. So this is actually people would where that water is is where you would still be sitting. That's only because there's I think there's a little storm coming. Nothing like seven years ago, believe me, nothing like that. Look, a seagull feather. Nothing like that at all. But um see now this they just have the sand, they don't have the thing. I normally would take my shoes off, but I really don't feel like getting sand all over my feet. Um, I usually would love it. Because it's ice cold, it feels wonderful. So, I'll come here during this, the winter too, so you see the difference. But I just thought it was a, a historic day to come and reflect. I hope I'm not on private property. I really hope I'm not. I don't think I could go this way. But why isn't it roped off? Well, let's try it. Let's see what happens. I think I could go that way. So, one last look at the ocean. A little bit. And then kind of going to show you. I think I could climb that mound over there. Very good exercise for me, guys. This was Joey Harrison's. Right here. This was the spot of Joey Harrison's. This is how you got onto their beach. And it's actually emotional and heartbreaking. This is a big part of my life. This is left disturbed the way it happened seven years ago today. This was all open. They didn't have this then. 
They're trying to get Joey Harrison's people are trying to get the, the people to who owned it to try to open another one. Bring it back. I know it was another time. I should have went over one more, but this is fine. Actually, I could get up right over there. I gotta climb in this. Let me see. I'm gonna do my superwoman. Somebody comes and yells at me. I'll just tell them I got lost, which I didn't, but they don't know that. Yeah, I can't get up over here, no problem. See, these are all brand new. These were all flattened, destroyed. This is a, this is a little, oh, I have to climb under here. That's okay. Let's see if I could do it. I might have to put you down. Years ago, I could have never done this. Hold on. Oh my God. Climb right through. I could have went one more step and I would have been fine. Look, I only had to go a little further and I made it. See, they're building this one up. See how they're putting it on the piling? That's what's underneath here. That gray house right there. Actually, I'm sorry. The gray and then that yellowish beige. That was actually where my sister lived. But it wasn't like that then. She rented that house. She lives here. Probably one of the best times of her life, she always said. Um, but do you see what I'm saying? This is what they have to do. See, the, all these houses, you don't see this. But you got the pilings under here. And then they make it so that you could use it as a garage. But um, that's what they do. They build the pilings so that that's about how high the water got. It was, and that's how it became um, the way it was, like with the water. So it's not most likely if we don't ever have a storm like that again, it's not going to reach that right there. It's not going to reach that. Definitely not going to reach that. Well, you never know. But when the ocean and the thing met, it was pretty much where the first porch was. So they, they built them on pilings. Because like I said, we still get some decent storms. We still get some pretty, pretty decent storms over here. Um, not like that. We haven't had one in seven years like that. But you know what? This is the thing. It's going to happen again. I hope not. But it's just, it's just inevitable, pretty much. I really pray it never happens again, but most likely it's gonna. Um, to that extent, I don't know. We're kind of prepared now. Um, yeah, this was Joey Harrison's right here. Cause I remember we would park all along these streets, especially in the winter time. We would park up and down these streets. They didn't charge you in the winter. That's the bay right there where that, straight out, right there is the bay. So the bay and the ocean met on Route 35. And they became friends, unfortunately. And they hung out for a while, the bay and the ocean. And they destroyed many, many things. This was a beautiful house. I remember it being, I think it was a house or a hotel. Actually, now I'm not sure. I think it was a hotel, to be honest. And this whole section is, I think the town is trying to buy this. Uh, they did fix the walkway and stuff. They did keep that, they fixed it up and they planted bushes and things. But uh, the people are just, they're just sitting on it right now. They don't know. And I don't blame them because the state wants to come in and buy it for ridiculous, ridiculous small amount of money. This property alone with nothing on it, with the way it is, and this is actually part of it, with nothing on it, this property is worth millions, millions and millions and millions of dollars. And they probably came in and offered them like 50,000 because that's what they were doing with people and people were so devastated. They were just the ones that weren't rebuilding. They were just letting it go. And this is part of Joey Harrison's too. They own this. It was, now that I think about it, this was a parking lot. 
this seems like it's the same. It doesn't look like they really rebuilt it. So this definitely was not rebuilt. There's definitely people not living in here. It's not inhabitable. This was part of it. These were three apartments. They were getting top rent for these. And uh, again, right down there, met, right there where the lights are, the ocean met. Joey Harrison's owned this too. They had a whole beach and everything. This really doesn't look like they did much to it, I'll be honest. It, they look like the original sliders. So maybe it wasn't really that destroyed. I can't understand how that wouldn't be because the water would absolutely be at least the bottom level. There'd be no way, because that's over my head. So it wouldn't be higher than that, but definitely the bottom level. But it actually, they might have just redid the bottom. But all that, you could tell they have new doors though. Not the outside though, they have new, what you call it. But this is all brand new. And uh, these are all brand new homes that were built. And not, I'm not saying seven years ago either. It took a couple years for them to build these. And then they put them on these pilings. So the bottom is, guess, is where you walk in, kind of. So you could rent these. They fix them up. See, if you were up there, you would have been fine, but they still evacuated. You know, you're not, you weren't going to be flooded, but half the roofs came off and stuff. So, yeah, guys, that's uh, the Golden Gull. This has been here since I can remember, at least since the 60s looks pretty similar it doesn't look like they did much to it um it really doesn't look that different it obviously it's paved and there's there's five apartments here so yeah guys this is ocean ave and fifth ave and uh, i just wanted to take you here and show you this and uh Let's all pray to God that it never happens again. At least not in my lifetime. I hope it doesn't happen ever, but at least not in my... Oh, I just showed you my tag. Oh, well. Um, at least not in my lifetime. Not in my lifetime. Um, I hope you all have a really wonderful day. It's beautiful out. I'm done for the day. And uh, that was just a nice little walk. And hold on, guys nice little walk and uh i'll see you guys soon bye i hope you enjoyed this leave a comment below if you liked it if you want to see a few more historical videos i have some historical cemeteries that i was thinking of visiting in the area right off of where i live if you'd be interested in that please let me know okay bye guys have a great day